Hello everybody, so today we've got a little repair job on um, and we've got help. Right, so behind us you see the 698. So we've got a little repair job on the 698. What we need to do on the pickup hitch on the back, there's a broken bolt on the pickup hitch and we'll go and take a look at what's wrong um, and how we're going to go around fixing it. Okay, so we're around at the back of the tractor now. So <coughs> pickup hitch, rods, lift rods are here. Um, they drop down to pick up the actual hook and the lifting action comes from these these brackets here you can see it's flopping around and what there should be is a bolt right up in the front here going through the lift arm so what's happened on the actually on the other side of this one um, the bolt on the other side has snapped off so what I've done I've taken this bolt out to use as to get a measurement as to what we need for, for new ones but this is this is the old bolt it goes through through the lift arm and screw threads into the pickup hitch part. Um, when I took this one out, it is very, very slightly bent um, on the thread there. Probably can't quite tell, but it is just just enough to make it awkward to get out. <clears throat> so what I've done, I've bought two new ones. So this one, this side will be easy. We'll just screw this straight. Up, just screw this side straight in. No bother. The other side is going to be more tricky because the bit that broke off um, is in this bit, the threaded hole on the other side on the end of my finger. So we will do the easy side first and put in the new bolt. Okay, so we'll take our new bolt. So these are just four inch long, five eight diameter uh, UNF threads. So they're nothing special. We just had to go take it to our local nut and bolt supplier and uh, get two new ones. We just got to line up, get everything square, and this one should be easy. There we are, he's caught in, going in nicely. The strange thing is, there's no lock washers or anything on these. Let's stop it coming loose, so we'll just do them up tight. So because this one was bent very slightly, I'm assuming the other one bent the same and that's what caused it to break just through years of use this tractor is what's this he's a Y reg so what's that that's early 80s 80 82 or 3 so uh, he's pushing 40 years old uh, it's approaching 9,000 hours so this pickup hitch will have been up and down many times in its lifetime and it's just simple wear and tear it's, it's the bolt just Got to the end of its life, gave up, and that, now it's time to replace the pair. All right, so we're getting there now. We are just All right. There we go. Ooh, that wasn't in the plan. <coughs> Always keep a hold of your socket. Just get him up as tight as we can. Right, so there we go. That is the easy side done. You can see now all the play. We're doing it up tight. This has gone tight now. Um, so we've taken all the flop that was in there when we started the video. So, easy side done. Right, so now we're around to the second side. Um, if I can just hold everything. This, this here, you can just see that is our broken, end of our broken bolt. So the thread has snapped off into the plate and so what we need to do take out this lint pin and that will slide off of that pin there the lift pin um, but first we need to take out that split pin down there take, take the lift rod off and take the whole lot to the workshop um, and work out the most appropriate way of getting out that broken off bit of thread okay so split pin is out now getting a split pin out the wrong way um, when it's kind of coming towards this bit which don't move and that bit don't move um, it's not easy but we got there so that will just now slide off of there we pull this pin out hopefully should all come off in one easy movement maybe right bottom off now cross your fingers that should come off there we go right so the first glimpse 
of our broken bolt. So there he is. We will go and get it all cleaned up a little bit um, and formulate a plan. Right, so here is our broken off bolt. Um, we just cleaned it up a little bit, just wire brush, all the dirt and dust off of it. So there's a number of options for uh, having a go at removing this. You can see I've already tried one. I can just have a hammer and chisel and just try and tap it round to undo it. Um, it doesn't very often work. So if it's not snapped off in there because it's seized, which I don't think this one is, I think it just snapped through wear and tear. There was a chance, uh, you know, just tapping it with a chisel could have done it. Didn't work, but you know, give it, give it the easiest stuff a try first. Um, second option, what we're going to do, we have got a nut. We're going to put place the bigger nut over, um, fill it up with weld. What that will do, that will then give us something to grab hold of with a spanner. And it will put some heat into the threaded part. Um, and we'll also heat around the outside just before we try undoing it. If that doesn't work, the nut will just snap off. You know, if it's not going to turn, the nut will snap off and we'll be back to where we are now. Um, option three, we'll drill it out. So first off, we'll have a go at welding welding a nut on there. Because here's our nut, it was a lot thicker. I've, ju I've just, in the lathe, just taken it down half, half size because um, I didn't want it as thick as that. So that just sits on there nicely. It's a nice snug fit, so we're not going to get any weld uh, going on to our part. If that was stuck out a bit longer, a bit farther, we could put a washer on there, put a washer around and then put the nut on. That will guarantee that we can't weld to our part, but we haven't got enough haven't got enough sticking out for doing that. So we'll, let, we'll fill it up with weld and see how we get on. Okay, so as you can see, we've now welded the nut on. Um, it still won't move, so what we're going to do, we're going to get some heat uh, into the surrounding area so that will expand the steel um, and the bolt will then come undone hopefully that's the plan At least we know it didn't break because it was loose and rattling. It was in there mighty tight. A 
there he is. Okay, so there we are, out. Uh, I won't pick it up because that is um, just a, a smidge warm at the minute. So there we go. Thread, undamaged, stud. We've got a new bolt there. We've created a brand new bolt. Um, I think we'll uh, chuck him in the scrap. Find some pliers, pick it up out of the way. Right, so we'll just give that a clean up. Once it's cooled down, uh, we'll try the bolt in there, try the new bolt, just make sure the thread's undamaged, it looks good. And mainly to just run down with a tap. But I think we're okay. We'll uh, just give it a brush off while it's hot. Clean it up. So the bolt didn't screw in very nicely, so we've got a 5.8 uh, UNF tap, and we're just going to run it down through, clean the threads out. We'll just put a bit of oil on, and then screw them through, get them square. Give the bolt a second trial. There we go. Nice and easy. That's what we want. Right. Go and refit back to the machine and we will be finished. Right, so just before we refit, um, we'll just have a quick mention Farm Flix. We are, as you know, teamed up with Farm Flix for this, uh, for this winter to do a little promotion for them. Um, so we're very close to Christmas now and a Farm Flix membership would be the ideal Christmas gift for, some, for, uh, for somebody. So I mean as blokes we often get socks for Christmas um, but I'm sure we've all got enough socks to last us till our birthday at least. Um, you know, so if somebody's struggling to get you, get you a gift, membership could replace socks for this year. So, in the description box of the video, down below, there is a link to go to FarmFlix. Um, that will take you direct to the FarmFlix page. From that page, you can take a free 24-hour trial. So you can have a look around, see what's available, look at all the videos, as many videos as you can get in 24 hours. I'm assuming you can manage 24 hours. You know, you might need to go to sleep and eat and stuff, but you know, get as much as you can, because it is free. Absolutely no charge for anything. Um, and then if you think it's something you quite fancy, take out a membership or ask someone to buy you a membership for your Christmas present. And then you will have something you actually want for Christmas. Because I know socks are useful, but um, you know, there's so many, so many socks you need, isn't there? So take a look in the uh, description box and um, have a sock free Christmas. That's my advice. Right, so here goes for the refitting. Mm, we really got nowhere to stick the camera, so we're gonna now try not to squash our fingers. So first off, we will try and get everything lined up. Get onto there. Is that going to go? Yeah, we did it now. All right, there we go. We're on. Put the pin in. Make sure it doesn't drop off. Next stage, get the lift rod. a new split pin we're gonna go the other way this time so it's easy oh, and we go. we're dropping stuff again that's two things today put it through that way so we can get it out easy next time
final part of the puzzle, we will put our new bolt in. And I'm just going to make sure there's no guns in the hole. Jiggle about like last time to get everything lined up. There we go, screwing in nicely. See if we can get this bolt all the way in without dropping anything, which will be a first for the day. Just the ease with which this is screwing in made it worth just running that tap through, just to clean the threads out. Right, we're almost there. Right, we are pulling up tight now. Get them nice and tight. It's probably a proper torque setting for these, but uh, as tight as we can go is good enough. And there we are. There we go. Job is officially finished. Um, not a bad little job as it turns out. Just a little bit fiddly to get that broken bolt out, um, but achieved without any major damage. No breakages. And uh, not a great deal of time really, just, just fiddling. So there we go. Right, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please don't forget to do so. Um, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget the farm flicks. Link in the description box below. Go and take your 24 hour trial, because it is absolutely free. No pressure to take it. If you take your trial and you walk away, that's absolutely fine. That's what it's there for, to have a go. See if you like it. So, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.